in my last, hey guys, I forgot to say that, in my last video, I forgot to, or I didn't forget, I, I didn't have time to tell you the second story I was going to tell you because it was late and I was tired. I was literally dozing off as I was editing my last video. So it started a couple of weeks ago where my my pointer finger on this hand, by the way, I got them done, but I'll show you after I tell the story. So the pointer finger on this hand um, was getting caught on stuff because my um, up, uh, assumption was they were too long and I didn't get them done for a very long time because we were going to get them, I was going to get them refilled when I had strep throat last, but... And we were going to reschedule that appointment. But that just never happened until this morning. So every time it would get caught on something, it would bend my nail like this a little bit. And then it would hurt for like just a few seconds. And then it would stop hurting. One night I was trying to look at my nail to see what the matter with it was. And I saw, I saw, like, the, see how it, like, the acrylic nail and um, glue, really strong glue connects to my, my natural nail, like, right here. Anyway, I saw that. I saw the glue kind of like showing and like the nail starting to come off. So I just decided it, well, it hurts enough. And I see the glue to where I need, or I just decided to put a band aid on it to keep it from like tearing any further. It didn't actually hurt like all the time. It just hurt when I, like, cut it on, on something, and it would bend. That's what I kept doing, so that's why I put a band-aid band on it, so it would be less pain when it, do it did bend. And my pointy finger on my right hand started doing the same thing, too. So, I was, I was like, okay, that's weird. So, I just put a band-aid on that one and called it good. So, last night, I decided to be wild and crazy. And I took both band-aids off. Because this, my playing figure on my left hand, was doing fine of not, um catching on anything and hurting and same went for my pointy finger on my uh, right hand as well it started when i had an itch on my leg and um so i went to scratch it with my right hand and Something caught on my pointer finger on my right hand. All of a sudden, I just felt this worse pain than my left, my pointer finger on my left hand ever experienced. It hurt so bad that I had to hold, put pressure on my, um, my pointing finger on my right hand and hold it as tight as I can to stop the pain. And after it was done hurting, after a while, it started throbbing. And every time I want to put the slightest pressure on it, it would 
hurt more than this finger did. So me and my mom both had to wake up at 9. Well, she woke up at 8 or 7. I don't know what time she wakes up. She's an early bird. Drive, drives me crazy sometimes. I slept in until 8.45 a.m. Because we had to be there by 9 o'clock a.m. They, y'all, they put us in, like, at the... At the time where they just open, if that makes sense. Long story short, me and my mom thought that I had to take off my acrylic nails completely. But no, um, the guy who was doing my nails just said, I apparently ripped the side of my nail. That's why it was hurting so bad. And also, because my um, acrylics were too long. That's why my nail ripped. As the guy was banging up this nail, I could feel a pain. Because the pain was pretty bad. I wanted to scream. Just because how bad, bad the pain was. But I was in a public place, so I couldn't. If you guys don't see my nails, here they are. I, I like the glitter one the best, but my nails in general look really good. He did a good job. I still prefer that other lady that did my, did, that did my nails and my toes when we were gonna, we were getting ready for my grandpa and my grandma's wedding. But she wasn't working, doesn't matter. Anyway, my dad's gonna pick me up soon. Actually, really soon, because it's almost 2 o'clock p.m. To go to my grandma's Christmas party. I love Christmas parties. Let the Christmas parties begin. Um, yeah, this is just the beginning of Christmas parties. We have more to go to. A lot more actually to go to, which is super exciting. Did I mention that my nail still hurts right now? Um, is I think it's gonna take a week, at least a week, to like recover from that. Oh, and and my dad just hexed me. I hope he's on his way to pick me up. Okay, he didn't say he was on his way, but I think he actually is because it takes an hour for him to get down to where we live and where my grandma lives. And it's, and he's coming actually really soon. Random thought, but I cannot wait to open my gifts tomorrow, even though tomorrow which is Sunday, today is Saturday. I said to open gifts even though it's Christmas Eve tomorrow because I, I'm at my mom's Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I am with my dad. So I cannot wait for tomorrow. And oh, and tomorrow I got another Christmas Eve party to go to is my grandma's on my mom's side. I'm actually super excited because that was a ton of people. And I don't think the one on my dad's side will be tons of people there. If that didn't make sense, let me word that again. 
because I feel like I didn't make sense. So I'm going to read it again. I don't think there's going to be much people at my grandma's Christmas party at my dad's side. But at my mom's side, I think there's going to be a ton of people because there's usually a ton of people and it's a lot of fun. I'll at least try to film the experience. But if I can't, I'll just tell you about it. Oh, and I got church tonight, too. Because tomorrow, which is Sunday, there won't be any church because it's Christmas Eve. They don't usually have service for um the following Sunday. Before or after Christmas. And there's two services going on. There's one at four. One at six. I'm going to the six one, I think. Six o'clock p.m. one. Because my grandma's on my dad's side Christmas party will last until like, I think three and I have to be there by four for the service so I don't think that will work out so I'll just go to the 6 p.m. one I'm gonna watch some YouTube while I wait for my dad to get here I'm watching this youtuber right YouTube family right now and they're traveling like the basically the whole entire world they're like in different countries and they move from time to time but it is so interesting. I actually want to do that. But I think I would be too scared to. But I just want to see how other countries, like, do stuff, you know? Currently, they're in South Africa right now. My dad's here. I gotta go. Oh, my dad. My dog. Or our dog got a bath today. She hated it. So this is what the moon looks that I showed you looks like. It is so cool. Right now, we're just headed back to the car. How'd you like the shirt? I don't know. I liked it, I guess. Christmas Eve Eve. Yeah. I was literally squirmish the whole time. Were you? Yeah. I can't, I don't know why I can't sit still anymore.
even though there wasn't a lot of people at my grandma's on my dad's side Christmas party it was still pretty fun because after we opened gifts and everything my uncle and my cousin my little cousin started on uh, rough housing and it was the funniest thing ever we me me his mom her boyfriend and i don't know who else was just dying of laughter it's funny because we've never seen them rough house before we er we each took a turn opening one gift at a time so when it was my turn i opened just some ra random present that i sat on the floor to open when we were taking turns it was youngest to oldest by the way um so anyway it was my turn i opened a present and i wasn't expecting this present to be meaningful at all i was expecting like clothes or like something don't worry i'm very grateful for clothes too but i'm just saying i thought i didn't expect it to be like or i wasn't expecting it to be like meaningful or whatever so i opened it and it was just jean pillow that blue pillow that you saw right by my chair that I was sitting at. I was so confused when I opened it up. And I knew it was a pillow, but I was confused why she gave me a pillow inside. I didn't say that out loud. But she, ex my grandma from across the room explained to me that those were the genes of my grandpa who recently passed away and i i just gave out a warning i cuz i i i gave out a warning that i was going to cry i wasn't expecting myself to actually cry but seconds a couple seconds later after i said that i started tearing up and i didn't just say thank you like you're supposed to say after each gift you receive I, like, meant it from, like, the heart. Like, thank you. This means a lot to me. In tears. Anyway, bye, guys.